classical music, or I should say music from the classical period, from classical composers such as Mozart or in this case Sor, articulation is, is very important because it, in a way, um, clarifies the discourse. There's an analogy here with language which can be very useful because just as we have pauses, we have uh, commas, periods, um, we can write things in different paragraphs, we can make big pauses when we speak or emphasis, uh, then in music we can do something similar, we can really punctuate our, our performance, our, our music making so that we clarify things. So regarding articulation we can focus on on a few points in the piece. Um, the first one, which is most obvious, is the beginning of the second section. And again, I've already hinted at this, but I'd like to make it explicit. How, when we have uh, neighboring tones, neighboring notes, such as these, usually that implies uh, that it should be played legato. So this would be less appropriate. Because the music isn't really inviting us necessarily to do that. So this sounds a lot better, in my opinion. Nice and legato. Now, another specific spot that I think can benefit from articulation is bar 15, this one here. It's all very well if we play it legato like that, but I think if we play it like this, it just gives it a little bit more life makes it a little more interesting, especially in contrast to the previous section, to the beginning of the second section, which was nice and mellow and legato. So this is uh, almost like a, a principle that I use, which is to generate as much variety in the music as possible uh, without ever betraying what the, the music tells us to do. So it doesn't mean adding um, articulations and dynamics and things unnecessarily when the music doesn't seem to call for it, but rather trying to extract what the music is telling us and, uh, and contrast those elements uh, as much as, as it seems appropriate. In this case, um, I'd say that this clearly cries out for being played legato. And this sounds very good to be played, or sounds very well if we play it uh, staccato. So I definitely bring out that contrast. Now, how do we achieve it technically? Uh, of course, there are two ways to play uh, short notes or staccato notes. One is lifting the fingers of the left hand. However, that has two disadvantages. The first is that what happens when we want to play an open string uh, staccato? It won't be possible unless we stop with the left hand like this, which just seems a little bit uh, too involved. We have two different mechanisms to play short notes and sometimes our fingers will just be busy playing other notes. The second disadvantage is that whenever we lift a finger, we get a little bit of a noise, which is perhaps most, most evident in the bass strings. I'm exaggerating it here a little bit for the purpose of demonstration, lifting very slowly. But we'll always have uh, those kind of noises. However, if we stop with the right hand, that is anticipating uh, a finger on the string before playing the next, we'll get something like this. Same with open strings. I haven't changed my mechanism to articulate. So that's very efficient. One mechanism uh, works for both stopped notes and also for open string notes. That means that my left hand can just worry about playing the notes without having to worry about stopping them or lifting them earlier. And also, you will have noticed that it's extremely clean. No buzzing, that we, which we got with the other way. Mm -hmm. So. That's my proposal. Here, you'll have to put your middle finger down as soon as you've played the E and you've articulated it. There, uh, it was just an example of another thing you need to be careful of, of not uh, stopping the string with your nail or you'll get a little bit of a noise like this. You need to stop it with your flesh. And that'll be a nice, clean cut just gives it a little bit more life, and makes it a little more interesting, especially in contrast to the previous section, to the beginning of the second section, which was nice and mellow and legato. So this is uh, almost like a, a principle that I use.